Oh, check out that fish, huh? Yeah, a condemned man's dream, so to speak. That man would be you, Trev. Me. Yeah, the crime, falling in love. Uh, the punishment, a life sentence with Jane Goff. <laughs> what kind of crap is that? You guys think I'm making a mistake, tell me now. Oh, Trev, oh, like oh, Yeah, relax, will you? We're just yanking your premarital chain. Absolutely. Yeah. Sorry. Look, I I'm sorry. I just got a case of the free waiting Willie. You wouldn't believe. Yeah, sure we would. We were grooms once. Or twice. You know what you're going through. Yeah, I like getting that. I mean, I was nervous then, but this is different. I mean, it doesn't make any sense, because I want to tie the knot. Hey, look, hey. here's the mule train oh, now. Where, 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 where? She's talking about us, Lil. Oh, forget it. Look, Trevor, you've got to get out of here. It's bad luck for the groom to see the bride on the wedding day. Come on, that's an old wives' tale. Well, I want to be an old wife one day. Now go. No, 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 I just want one kiss. Oh, come oh. on, Trevor. I might as well be carrying a black cat and walking under a ladder. Just one kiss. Oh, well, you just want it. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> See? No locusts, no tidal wave, no tornadoes. Oh, Amanda, pinch me. All my dreams are about to come true. And I never want to wake up. Now, come on, Jane. We got to get you upstairs so Myrtle and I can transform you into a bride. Get him up and move him out. Listen, make sure you drop off Amanda in Junior's room with the rest of the herd. Oh, yes, Petra is serving us as a uh, group babysitter. You two didn't forget a thing. Yep. We here at Martin Shaktimore like to consider ourselves a full-service nuptial hut. A hut? You too much. I don't know how I'll ever thank you. That's easy. Just live a long and happy life. Uh, with you in it. And Dixie, I'm sure I will. Oh. oh, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, come on, break it up. Break it up. We got a bride to groom. Yeah. Oh, you just love that wedding humor. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Won't be long now. Great. I heard that. You said it won't be long now. I said great. It's a big deal. Tim. Look, I know uh, you and Jane have had your share of the rocky road. I'm not talking ice cream here. She's made some mistakes. Yeah, what with Carol the dog and the puppy and... Wilma, but her heart is in the right place. I mean, look how she handles Amanda. Amanda even calls her mommy. As long as you don't expect me to take her. No. Tim, Matt's your one and only mom, and Jane knows that. All she wants is for you to give her a chance. That's all. You can do that, can't you? Sure, Dad. Yeah. No problem. Good. Uh. Somebody call 911. Is this your bid to get back into Ripley's, believe it or not? <laughs> no, no, no. But you were right the other evening, Ted. I um, did still have the yen for goulash. Dimitri and I are definitely built for drinking. Well, you lucky devils. No, I'm the, uh, I'm the lucky one. Oh, darling, no, I'm the lucky one. Oh, oh get a room. Come on, get in here. <laughs> Come on. I'll take your coat. Thank you. Hey, everybody, check it out. The Dickersons are back together again. Well, all right. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that we'd be here so early. Oh, nonsense. It's never too early or late to celebrate true love. Right, Trev? Yeah, right. And are you okay? You had a weird look on your face. Yeah, I'm just thinking about true love. And you two seem to have found it, so congratulations. Dad? Where's Mom? Oh, she's upstairs on the phone with the hospital. What, was something wrong with Gloria? No, 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 nothing like that. Uh, just some people on staff have called in sick, so Ruth may have to go in to help cover the oh. shift. She'll be down shortly otherwise. Uh, you know, it's not one thing, it's another. Uh, well, quite a week, hasn't it? Yeah. Yesterday, we buried Gloria's baby. Today, we're marking the start of a new life, two people very much in love. Well, thank you, Joe. Dimitri and I have never been more in love. Oh, actually, I was thinking of Trevor and Jane. Oh, of course you were. Well, Eric and I have seen how life can change on a dime. Oh, that glorious baby, Laurel. Oh. Yes, and my mother. Dimitri and I finally realized that um, we have wasted far too much time apart. We're going to grow old and gray together. Excuse me. <laughs> I liked it better when they were at each other's throats. <laughs> 
<laughs> How do you tell the difference? That was a good one, Doc. Trevor, congratulations. All the best to you and Jane. You treasure your time together. Thanks, Doc. I will. Speaking of scuzzballs. I was invited. I know. Jane told me. Word to the wise, behave or be history. You won't even know I'm here. <gasps> oh, I might have known she'd be here. Sorry, Jane. Invited her. Of course you did. Would you, uh, would you like to leave? Not just this minute, no. It's all right. <laughs> really, she has no consequence to us. Did you just say us? Yeah, haven't you heard? Eric and Dimitri are back together. You look beautiful, Jane. Gorgeous. Trevor's eyes are gonna bug out when you waltz down those stairs. I'm gonna be Mrs. Trevor Dillon. Who would have thought it? Hey, don't cut yourself so short. Trevor loved Natalie with all of his heart. You must have done something right to step into those shoes. I never really thought about it that way. This is nothing short of a miracle. I mean, everything is absolutely perfect. What is Erica doing here? Dixie. Dixie, give me that plastic bag. I want to see if the warning is true that it suffocates. Look, uh, why don't you let me take care of Kendall? One something blue, my wedding day is enough. Okay, whatever you want. Uh, if you need anything, we'll be uh, nearby, okay? Erica is here with Dimitri. It's the start of a lynch mob. Reverend Nelly, good to see you. Glad you made it. Let me take your coat. After all, we couldn't start without you. It's true. Amanda just wanted to see you. Hey, precious. Come to mommy. Come on. Whoa! Hey! I was just giving Kendall a little love. Hug therapy. Poor thing's a mess. Oh. Well, I'll just be helping Myrtle get dressed. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Bye-bye. Come on, precious. Come and sit right by Mommy. There you are. We'll brush your hair. I want you to know that today's a very special day for both of us. It's like a... A new beginning. You know, Mommy's had to do some things she's not very proud of to get here, but it was worth it, sweetheart. You're worth it. You mean so much to me. Someone took you away from me once, and I just want you to know that this time, no one's going to take me away from you. Mommy loves you, Amanda. More than anyone or anything. Mommy loves you. Come in. Ready to march down? Yes. Yes, I am. I've dreamed of it for so, so long. I'll keep Amanda with Junior and Jamie. You don't want anyone interrupting your wedding day. <laughs> Thank you, Petra. Hi. Hi. Ready to say I do? To the wedding march.
Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity, and, when it is God's will, for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Trevor Dillon and Jane Cox now come to be joined. If any of you can show just cause why they may not lawfully be wedded, speak now or else forever hold your peace.